If you're on the market for a new Vitamix blender, then you've probably considered the Vitamix E 520 and the Vitamix 5200, but which is right for you? And most importantly, what are the key differences? I'll explain everything you need to know in just a sec, but first, make sure to click the links in the description below to check the current price for each of these products as the cost can often change. And with that said, let's get straight into this Vitamix E 520 versus 5200 comparison. When it comes to blending power, both the Vitamix E 520 and 5200 pack a punch. The E 520 boasts a 2.2 horsepower motor, while the 5200 features a two horsepower motor. With such a small difference though, you won't notice any difference in actual blending performance. Both blenders come with a seven year warranty, showing their similarity in terms of design and construction quality. The Vitamix 5200 is definitely the more popular option, and that may have a lot to do with the fact that it's the cheaper choice as well. Both models use Vitamix's renowned blade design, ensuring efficient blending regardless of the motor power difference. The blades are made from hardened stainless steel, staying sharp for years of use. In terms of blending efficiency, both models perform exceptionally well. You'll be able to create smooth textures in minutes, regardless of which model you choose. Both models come with a 64 ounce low profile container, perfect for larger batches. The E520 features preset programs, which can be handy for consistent results. You'll find options for smoothies and other common recipes, namely soups and frozen desserts. The 5200, on the other hand, relies on manual controls, giving you full control over the blending process. The E520's preset programs are likely the reason for the additional cost. In my opinion, the extra money is probably not worth it because the 5200 is already an exceptional blender that will likely last you for at least 10 years if you look after it. Both blenders excel at creating smooth textures, from silky smoothies to creamy soups. You can easily make nut milk sink sauces and even frozen desserts with either model. When it comes to blending capacity, the Vitamix 5200 and E520 really do shine with their sizable 64 ounce containers, which are ideal for family sized portions and large batches. Many other blenders have significantly smaller capacities, which really limits what you can blend in a single batch. Both blenders can handle hot and cold ingredients with ease, so you're not limited in what you can create regardless of which model you choose. The Vitamix 5200 and E520 both sport sleek modern designs that look great on your kitchen counter. You'll notice the 5200 has a taller, more slender profile, while the E520 is shorter and wider. The control panels also differ between the two blenders. The 5200 has a simple, classic layout with a speed dial and on-off switch. The E520, on the other hand, boasts a more advanced interface with preset programs. When it comes to build quality, both blenders are sturdy and well-constructed. However, some users report the 5200 feels a bit more robust and long-lasting, and I'd have to agree with them. The Vitamix 5200 and E 520 offer different control experiences. With the 5200, you'll find a simple interface featuring a speed dial and on-off switch. It's straightforward and gives you full manual control over blending. The E520 takes a more modern approach. You get a preset programs for common recipes like smoothies, soups, and frozen desserts. This can be handy if you prefer one-touch blending. Another difference is that the E520 has a built-in pulse feature, whereas the 5200 doesn't. However, you can still pulse the 5200 by turning it on and off again, which honestly is really just the same as flicking the pulse switch on the E520, so you're definitely not losing out with the Vitamix 5200. 
When it comes to cleaning, both the Vitamix E 500-20 and 5200 offer convenient options. You'll find that both models feature a self-cleaning function, making your life easier after whipping up your favorite smoothies or soups. To clean either blender, simply add warm water and a drop of dish soap to the container. Then run the machine at its highest speed for about 30, 60 seconds. This process effectively cleans the blades and interior of the container. And with that said, I hope my Vitamix 5200 versus a 520 comparison helped you to decide which blender is right for you. Both are great options, but I'd say that the Vitamix 5200 offers better value for money overall. There's a reason why it's so insanely popular.